Remember this scene? This was over Heritage High School in Wake Forest last month. The students there were being evacuated for some time from the building because of a bomb threat when it turned out that the real threat came from the heat. It was so hot outside, three kids ended up going to the hospital. The district says they're working now to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. WRL's Destiny Patterson found out how leaders believe they can do that. I'm holding a couple of emails a Wake County mom sent to the school district after that evacuation from Heritage High School left students outside in high heat. She believes that the way that that threat was handled actually put more students in danger. On the third day of school, Erica Paul's daughter and her classmates evacuated Heritage High School for a bomb threat. While law enforcement deemed the threat not credible, another danger lurked in the evacuation area, sweltering heat. They were stuck in this stadium in the full sun. She was not allowed to leave. Um, she felt like a prisoner. Her daughter came home with sunburn. She didn't feel well for days. At what point do we get evacuated that we then have a, either a separate team or whoever needs to be involved that is tending to the students' needs. District officials didn't answer school board member Cheryl Caulfield's questions during the open session today. I think that's more of a closed session question. Okay. In fact, district officials held most discussion for a closed session after very quickly and very broadly going through the steps taken that day. They did say technical errors delayed communication and notified school board members of a second threat the same morning. That did change the dynamic of what the, the initial thing was. After today's meeting, she's expecting a better plan, one that keeps students safe. So when you send your kid to school, you expect some level of safety. A school board member asked if the district had a weather protocol for these types of situations, and district officials opted to answer that question in closed session. They say that there's one in the works by the direction of the superintendent. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Wake County.